Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important chapter from the Bible as we read Acts chapter 21 from the King James Version Bible. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Lord Jesus Christ lead us guide us help us be with us and bless us amen acts chapter 21 there paul is warned about jerusalem now it came to pass that when we had departed from them and set sail running a straight course we came to cos the following day to roads and from there to patara and finding a ship sailing over to phoenicia we went abroad and set sail when we had sighted cyprus we passed it on the left sailed to Syria and landed at Tyre for there the ship was to up and load the cargo and finding disciples we stayed there seven days they told all through the spirit not to go up to Jerusalem when they had come to the end of those days we departed and went on our way and they all accompanied us with wives and children till we were out of the city and we knelt down on the shore and prayed when we had taken our leave of one another we boarded the ship and they returned home kaisaria agabus prediction kaisara agabus prediction and when we had finished our voyage from tyre and we came to beto limeas greeted the brethren and stayed with them one day on the next day we who were paul's companions departed and came to caesarea and entered the house of philip the evangelist who was one of the seven and stayed with him now this man had four virgin daughters who prophesied and as we stayed many days a certain prophet named Agabus came down from Judea when he had come to us he took Paul's belt bound his own hands and feet and said thus says the holy spirit so shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind the man who owns this belt and deliver him into the hands of the gentiles and when we heard these things both we and those from the that place pleaded with him not to go up to jerusalem then paul answered what do you mean by weeping and breaking my heart for i am ready not only to be bound but also to die at jerusalem for the name of the lord jesus so when he would not be persuaded we ceased saying the will of the lord be done and after those days we packed and went up to jerusalem also some of the disciples from caesarea went with us and brought with them one Manasseh of Cyprus an early disciple 
with whom we were to lodge paul confirms to jewish customs and when we had come to jerusalem the brethren received us gladly on the following day paul went in with us to james and all the elders were present when he had greeted them he told in detail those things which god had done among the gentiles through his ministry and when they heard it they glorified the lord and they said to him you see brother how many myriads of jews there are who have been who have believed and they are all zealous for the law but they have they have been informed about you that you teach all the jews who are among the gentiles to forsake moses saying that they ought not to circumcise their children not to walk according to their customs what then the assembly must certainly meet for they will hear that you have come therefore do what we tell you we have four men who have taken a vow take them and be purified with them and pay their expenses so that they may shave their heads and that all may know that those things of which they were informed concerning you are nothing but that you yourself also walk orderly and keep the law but concerning the gentiles who believe we have written and decided that they should observe no such thing except that they should keep themselves from things offered to idols from blood from things strangled and from sexual immortality then paul took the took the men and the next day having been purified with them entered the temple to announce the expiration of the days of purification at which time an offering should be made for each one of them paul's arrest and when the seven days were almost ended the jews from asia seeing him in the temple stirred up the whole crowd and laid hands on him crying out men of israel help this is the man who teaches all men everywhere against the people the law and this place and furthermore he also brought greeks into the temple and has defiled this holy place for they had previously seen profimus the efficient with him in the city whom they suppose that paul had brought into the temple and all the city was disturbed and the people ran together seized paul and dragged him out of the temple and immediately the doors were shut now as they were seeking to kill him news came to the commander of the garrison that all jerusalem was in an uproar he immediately took soldiers and centurions and ran down to them and when they saw the commander and the soldiers 
they stopped beating Paul. Then the commander came near and took him and commanded him to be bound with two chains. And he asked who he was and what he had done. And some among the multitude cried one thing and some another. And when he could not ascertain the truth because of the tumult, he commanded him to be taken into the barracks. And when he reached the stairs, he had to be carried by the soldiers because of the violence of the mob. For the multitude of the people followed after crying out away with him and as Paul was about to be led into the barracks he said to the commander may I speak to you he replied can you speak Greek are you not the Egyptian who some time ago raised an insurrection and led the 4,000 assassins out into the wilderness? But Paul said, I am a Jew from Tarsus in Cilicia, a citizen of no mean city, and I implore you, permit me to speak to the people. Paul's defense before the crowd. So when he had given him permission, Paul stood on the stairs and motioned with his hand to the people. And when there was a great silence, he spoke to them in the Hebrew language, saying, Here ends the reading of Acts chapter 21. May God bless the reading. As we saw the various topics that is in Acts 21 there Paul is warned about Jerusalem then Paul confirms to Jewish customs we find further Paul's arrest and finally Paul's defense before the crowd yes Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life yes and the word is true that he will lead us, guide us, help us, counsel us and watch over us. Let us no way become like a horse or a mule or else the word will not keep with us. Word is wonderful beloved. As we read in Psalm 32 verse 8, there is wisdom, there is guidance, counseling and also blessings as we read the living word the Bible. Let us grow in the word of our living God. The word is manna. Yes, it is the living word. As we read in Revelation 21, the word is life, the word is spirit. John 6 verse 63. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 27. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.